Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Wednesday at 10 44 a.m. Um, so already kind of had my start to the morning. I just wanted to check in now and start this vlog filming another work day video, which you guys seem to really like. Um, if you guys are watching this while you're working, if you have a job where you can like kind of watch YouTube videos while you work, um, comment below. I would love to know if you guys watch these while you're doing your working from home or whatever you're doing, or if you're watching it like while you're getting ready for work, because that's kind of what I do with videos like this. So I would love to know. Um, so comment below about that, but we are going to go ahead and get into this video. I have a lot of fun stuff planned, a little bikini haul. I'm going to show you guys a new workout outfit. I'm going to film an IGTV video, shoot some photos. We um, have a good day planned. So I typically do these videos on slower work days. I'm going to be productive and get a lot of stuff done, but I'm not like slammed. So that's when I usually have time to film these and take you guys through my day and it's usually really fun. So if you're not subscribed, please do so now. I would love to have you guys here. Um, I've been doing vlogs at least once a week lately and then I also do like style and lifestyle and other things like that on my channel so let's go ahead and get into this video okay first things first outfit of the day these jeans well they were jeans these were some Levi jeans that I found at a thrift store and I just never wore them because they were so straight leg and I just they just never looked cute so I recently cut them into these like boyfriend length shorts and I love them they're so cute um so there's your little DIY moment and then this shirt you guys have actually seen in a haul before I wore it in my most recent Princess Polly haul I will link it um it's really cute it's like a ribbed material if you guys can see if that's focused it's cute um I do wish it was like just a little bit longer just like I'm not asking for much like maybe here you know what I mean but it's fine it's still cute I just always need to have a good tan going I've been laying out like every single day the past week because I'm trying to get a good base going um for Palm Springs this weekend which I'll talk about in a minute um but yeah so I just have my slides on because you know we're not going anywhere so these are just like what I'm wearing around the house okay as promised I have a little bikini haul over here. So many bathing suits to show you guys. I recently purchased a ton from Shein. Um, they took about 10 days to get here, which was shorter than I expected. Everyone told me it was gonna take like a month um, because they come from out of the country, but they came faster than expected. And I've actually already worn some of them a few times. So let's do a little haul, shall we? Okay, I like literally need to unbutton my pants to sit down, but I'll spare you that visual. Um, because they're so stiff. Sort of like real denim, but that's what happens. Um, how do we look? How do we look? How do we look? This little spot by my window on the floor has become like the official spot for all of my hauls in my vlogs. So we're gonna keep the tradition alive today and do a little bikini haul. So I am not gonna try all these on. I'm just, we're not doing that. It's just, that's not the kind of vibe that we're in, you know? Um, but I am gonna show you guys all of them and kind of share my thoughts because I have worn some of them and tried them all on, of course. Um, but I've worn some in the pool, I've tanned in some, blah, blah, blah. So this one I actually wore yesterday. This is um, a like very colorful tie-dye print. A lot of tie-dye you're gonna see today because it's super on trend. So I was seeing just like so many tie-dye bikinis um, and I couldn't help myself. I got like, I think like four or five tie-dye bathing suits. Um, but this one's just a little triangle top. A lot of these are this kind of style where it has the little straps on the back instead of like a classic halter bikini top um they fit like this you still tie it in the back but it goes like that <laughs> you know what i mean um so that is the top for this one and then the bottoms are like this and a few of the bottoms that i got in bathing suits are like this um they don't tie they're just um they're connected you know they're not like a string bikini but they are very small like they might not look very small but um a little bit of a bigger butt so it's like it's very out there with these bathing suits because that's one thing i'll say there's not a lot of material for a lot of these so i would definitely size up because they run small and they already just have small amounts of material so just keep that in mind um but they're good for tanning and some of them i will wear when i go to palm springs which i said i was going to talk about and i forgot so um we're going to palm springs in a few days today's wednesday we're leaving on friday going for the weekend uh, it's a little trip that we take every single year with marcus's family and we've all been really looking forward to it because it's our first trip since um you know the quarantine and the pandemic and everything so we've been just like 
looking forward to it for the past few months and it's just like we're counting down the days to have a little getaway so i'm um, really excited about that really excited to sit by the pool and just get out of the house you know what i mean and like i said a lot of these are really little so i'm not really going to be wearing um a lot of them because i just a little bit much for a little family trip but they're great for tanning and some of them i am taking i'll let you guys know which ones i am going to take um so this one i really really love another tie-dye piece and these colors are really cool i feel like this is a color bathing suit i gravitate towards a lot i always get like a blue or something i don't know why i've had a lot of blue bathing suits before so this is like a yellow green and blue tie-dye um, a classic string uh, triangle top and I'm gonna take this one and then these are the bottoms and I really really love the bottoms and I do have a bathing suit I can kind of switch out each piece for I'll show you guys next um, these bottoms are like scrunchy um, kind of bottoms not string so I really really like these and I can wear these with the bathing suit obviously or with um, this top so I got this neon Wow, it looks so bright on camera. This like neon triangle top. And again, it's the same cut on the back where it goes um, on your shoulders and not like a halter. Um, so this top is really, really cute. I took the padding out of all of these because they had really, really cheap padding. Um, they all were probably under $10, these bathing suits. They were so cheap. That's why I got so many. I think a lot of them were like eight bucks, which is just crazy. Um, I don't even understand how that's possible, but I'm not asking any questions. Um, so this little neon top looks really cute with um, this bottom. I've actually already worn it tanning. So probably gonna take that and i'll just see what i'm in the mood for i honestly I'm not gonna need that many bathing suits because we're only going for a few days but i'm just gonna bring options so i can like feel it out you know what i mean it's our first outing like i'm excited about it you know so i'm gonna bring everything and overpack for sure like i always do and then these are the bottoms that go with the neon top that i am not gonna bring because they're very tiny and i'll probably save these for um tanning just because like literally the back is the same size as the front so they're very very cheeky which a lot of these are most of them they're all cheeky i don't have one pair that's like full um but they all are very cheeky which is good for tanning so um this next one wait let's not do a tie-dye one next doing too many tie-dye let's do this one so this one i really really love i'm bringing this one as well it's a floral print kind of looks almost like a little 70s or something it's these very like muted colors um really springy and cute this you can actually wear a few different ways um this one you can do like a halter style like this or you can do the same like shoulder cut because it does have um a little connector right here so you can like tie it a few different ways um, but I like the top it reminds me of the Frankie's bikinis tops um, that have the little scrunch right here so really really like that because um, I really wanted a Frankie's bikini but I instead got 10 from Shein but we'll see maybe I'll still splurge on one at some point in the summer um, but these are the bottoms that go with that top and they look a lot more high-waisted than they are when I saw these I was like oh these are gonna be like the kind like the string bikini that comes like up to your belly button and it doesn't I don't know if it's just maybe I have a longer torso and maybe they're supposed to look like that and it just doesn't look like that on me but these do look really cute um, this is the back they're cheeky but not like you know anything too crazy so I'm gonna bring this with me to Palm Springs and I'm a little bit unsure about this one because it's just it's like a one piece it's just like so much like it comes all the way up like past your hips it comes up super super high um, but it is a good like black one piece really like nostalgic like Baywatch kind of vibes like that's like the kind of style um, but what drew me to this one piece because I do have a few black one pieces what drew me to this one was that it has the scrunch butt so a lot of the one pieces aren't um, scrunch like this they are a little bit cheeky but sometimes you have to like kind of maneuver it to the way you want it to look or it can look kind of restricting and like kind of um you know squeeze in parts that you don't really want it to so i was really intrigued by the scrunch on the back <laughs> when i liked but i don't know when i'm gonna wear it because it is kind of a lot for a one piece <laughs> so back to more tie-dye i have another tie-dye bikini and i don't think i'm gonna bring this one um just because i don't think i'm gonna need it but i really really like this top it is um all these bikinis come in sets by the way i don't think you can buy just tops or bottoms you have to get one size in the whole set if you guys have like a bigger bust and a smaller waist it's going to be kind of difficult um that was the issue for my niece she ordered two bathing suits of everything she got and then just like 
returned what didn't work or I think she gave it to a friend because I don't think you can return just like a bottom so she just got two of everything so that she can get like a small bottom and a large top so um, I got large in all of these just so you guys know and I would have even wanted extra large in some of the tops because they're so tiny but um, large will work <laughs> I just know that for reference now and you guys know so just beware um, so this top is a like almost like backless um, I don't know what what would you call this? I don't know what you would call this, but these are the bottoms. And again, they don't look as small as they are, but they are really tiny. Um, and they do look just kind of like a lot because the string is so thin on the side and then the front, um, it just kind of covers everything it needs to cover and everything else. It's like very skimpy. Um, so again, good for tanning, but I'm not bringing this to Palm Springs because it just, it's not, it's too much, you know? So, okay, another tie dye. This is my last tie dye one, I promise. This one I feel like is a very popular one. I've seen multiple people get this one, um, which is kind of funny because Shein has so many bathing suits. But this one, they have a ton of different colors and I guess I'm gonna put it on like this so you guys can see. Um, I feel like it's a little bit blown out, like a lime green tie dye. And I've seen people have this on Instagram after I ordered it, I kind of noticed it. Um, but my niece got this in, I think the blue color or, my niece got this in one color. I don't remember what color she got. Maybe it was blue, I don't remember. And then my brother's girlfriend got it in yellow and none of us, I think she got yellow. I'm like, I don't remember. We all got it and we didn't plan it. So um, we all got this bathing suit and it's really, really cute. My niece might've got pink actually. I don't know, but I really like the green. I feel like it's something different for me, something I wouldn't normally wear, but it is very small. The top is cute and it's, you know, not a lot of material, but it's cute, it works. The bottoms are really revealing. Um, just beware on that. I mean, if you like wearing bathing suits like that, it's no problem, but I'm not gonna bring them to Palm Springs, um, but they are so, so cute. So, so these are like the kind of bottoms that you can adjust like the front. So I'm sure you see these like kind of on Instagram a lot, like girls wear just like the string and then the front's like all small um, and they come up a little bit higher in the back. You can see they're like kind of longer. Um, they are really, really cute. The back is super cheeky, not much bigger than the front, um, but it does look really cute all together. It's just kind of like a lot, you know. I've actually already worn it um, by the pool and it was super cute. And ending kind of on a um, more boring note because this is just a black bathing suit, but I do really like it. I got this strapless top um, that has the crisscross on the back through right there it's cute and then these black bottoms to go with it they're a little bit high-waisted that I do really love sorry there's someone outside maybe you can hear um, I really love these bottoms so they don't cover my belly button they just like kind of hit right below it um, so they're a little bit more fabric than the other bathing suits obviously and since they're black I'm gonna be able to wear them with a ton of things and just kind of mix match um, which I love a multi-use kind of bathing suit because you can get a lot of wear out of it um but yeah that is all my bikinis for today hope you guys enjoyed this little mini shein haul i will link below whatever is still available if it is available so yeah okay down in my office now gotta open up the windows before we do anything else that's a necessity for me oh use my muscles i'm sore <laughs> again pants are unbuttoned i'm sorry about it but it's true Okay, we have made it outside. It is so loud because there's an airplane flying by. I'm sorry. Um, this is the best sound. Oh yeah, some grapefruit LaCroix. But we made it outside for a little lunch -a -roo. My favorite thing to add to every word is a -roo. You guys will start to notice I add like a little ending to every word I say. I don't know why I do it, but I do. So it's a little lunch -a -roo time, okay? So this is my lunch today. We have a... Now there's gardeners. I am so sorry, it's loud. I'm gonna get through this little plate and then I'll see you guys in a minute. But I'm doing another little snack plate moment. You guys know I love to do this. I've showed it in multiple videos. So today I have my usual carrots and hummus, added a little cucumber, and then some crackers, some nut thins, cause I just need a little crunch. And then for my protein, I have a turkey burger with mustard on it, just the plain turkey patty. We had, we had turkey burgers last night and I love to have the leftovers throughout the week. So we usually make like a few extra. Um, and then I have them like with my lunches or like after a workout, cause it's just like a good source of protein. It's quick, I can heat it up and I, I enjoy it. So 
that is what I'm having today with my little LaCroix. So cheers, gonna have my lunch. Ellie's sitting here begging. Wouldn't be a lunch without her begging for my meal. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, now back to work, but I'm still outside. So I'm getting ready to film an IGTV, which I have not done in forever. I haven't even uploaded on IGTV in so long, but I got a request to do a video or a story or whatever um, about all of my favorite gluten-free items. So I decided I'm gonna do it on there because it's a little bit more casual and easier um, and just something you guys can always refer back to. Um, so we're starting with all my gluten-free favorites um, and this category is all my essentials. Next we'll do like snacks and then we'll do like sweet treats and because there's a lot and it just, it won't fit in a 10 minute video. So I'm gonna kind of break it up into I think three parts so that's what we're starting with today I'm filming it outside just because it's better lighting and it just looks cuter out here it's more of a vibe so I looked so silly carrying all my bread and like my oatmeal and my flour out here like a weirdo um so I'll show you guys my setup so yeah this is what we're looking like I have all my food over here this is everything I'm gonna share I got my little phone tripod and my phone ready to film um, I'm gonna do that and I probably will edit this today and get it up today so I'm sure by the time you guys are watching this video it will already be up so yeah hi you guys and welcome to my IGTV long time no see really never post on here but here we are okay hello hello I'm sorry if you hear talking in the background my neighbors are outside talking to someone very loudly if you hear that there's always like something going on at my neighbor's house but whatever um it is about 3 30 now let me check the time 3 49 to be exact so i filmed my igtv video it came out really cute i took some photos for it um a few little promo videos to post on my story to let everyone know that it's up and i already edited the whole thing and it's going to go up tomorrow so that's really exciting and i did some work on my computer a little bit more um and like i said it's almost four o'clock now i just made myself a little smoothie i have a workout with betsy at 5 30. we do it via zoom like i've told you guys if you watch my vlogs so i'm just having this as like kind of a little snack i felt like i needed a little something but i didn't really want to eat anything too heavy because i'll be having dinner later obviously so this is just like a whatever smoothie just kind of like a what i had in the freezer slash fridge kind of situation it's just like frozen pineapple half a frozen banana um, wild blueberries a little bit of like apple juice some water some ice um, some spray alina powder um, that's why it's like so dark my smoothies never look like pretty because i add in the spray alina powder and that's like a dark green almost turns it black um, and then I like snuck in some flaxseed powder, which you can't even notice. So it's just like a fruit smoothie kind of thing with some vitamins, no protein or anything like that, nothing too heavy, um, but it's just whatever, you know, it's it's okay. It's not like my best smoothie yet. And now I'm taking my vitamins, if anybody cares. I forgot to take them this morning, so I'm gonna take them now. Um, and then what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I have about an hour and a half until my workout, and I thought I would take this time since I'm like ready and dressed um, to kind of plan out some looks for palm springs we're only going for a few days but like i said this is like our first little getaway since quarantine so i'm excited about it um and we will go out to dinner one night and then i want to kind of have like a cute outfit when we head there and then i want to pick up what bathing suits i'm going to bring and what cover-ups and just you know i like to plan everything out so that i can get some content while i'm there of course um you guys know i always like to post little outfit photos so we want to plan for that and i just have a lot of clothes that i've been wanting to wear that um i should probably take this moment to wear it so i like to do that when i'm like ready because it kind of gives me a better visual sometimes when i try Try things on without makeup and without my hair or like down if it's up in a bun and it's dirty I just I don't feel cute enough and it kind of takes away from the outfit it makes you feel kind of frumpy um, and that makes it harder to plan um, outfits and to pack and stuff so I'm gonna take this opportunity to do that because I probably will not put makeup on tomorrow and then we leave the next day so I'm gonna do that now so I'm probably gonna put on some YouTube videos I already have YouTube pulled up I've been getting caught up on Alex and Michael's vlog channel I've been kind of behind on my vlogs I've been behind on a lot of things because all I've been doing is watching vampire diaries honestly like it's just I've been that's what I've been doing so I'm gonna probably get finished getting caught up on that and pack and then I'll see you guys after that but I did also want to mention while we're on the topic of like YouTube videos and things like that I always mention to you guys like what audiobook I'm listening to or what book I'm reading or what podcast I'm listening to right now I am like obsessed with the Bella Twins podcast um, I believe it's just called the the Bellas podcast. So it's Nikki and Brie Bella, you know, originally from Total Divas and now they're on Total Bellas. 
I used to watch Total Divas when it first came out. I watched the first few seasons, like when they first started, and I always really loved them. And then I just recently got really into Total Bellas. Marcus and I got like super into watching it. We like watching like a few reality shows together, and I asked him if he would want to watch this with me because that new their new season came back a few months ago and i just decided i wanted to watch it and we were like obsessed with it we always watched it as soon as it came on we were so excited to watch it um marcus is probably like embarrassed that i'm saying that but i feel like all of our boyfriends like the reality shows that we watch i don't know i just really like their energy and something about them i love the sister vibe of it all and they just like i really like them so i was sad when the season ended because i didn't know it was going to end so soon it's like ended on episode 11 or whatever um and i just needed more i needed more of them i went back and watched some old seasons and then they always talk about their podcast so I decided to start listening to it and past few days I've been just binging it that's what I do when I find something new I just get caught up on it and consume all the content they have so I've listened to so many of their podcasts over the past few days um, and the one that I've been listening to today is their newest one it comes out on Wednesdays um, and this one has Garcelle from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills um, and it's a really great episode so far I'm only halfway through um, but I really like Garcelle. She's on the new season of Beverly Hills, like I said, if you guys don't watch. And it's actually pretty relevant, too, because she's the first black woman on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So they're kind of getting into talking about, like, the current situation, like, the current climate and um, things like that. So it's been really nice to listen to that. And I've just been totally enjoying them. They're so fun. And I just really like their vibe. So I um, just wanted to share that. Something I'm loving right now. But now, before I run out of time, because I'm blabbing so much, I'm going to get to packing. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm so glad that I did that because I actually uh, made a ton of progress and I was feeling really inspired and you just have to take those moments when you're feeling inspired. If you have something to plan for or if you need to pick an outfit, you got to act on those moments when you're feeling like you know what you're going to do. So I actually pretty much am packed. I just need to pack like pajamas and underwear and like um, my toiletries and stuff like that. That's really all I need to do. Um, so pretty much done with the hard part, which is exciting what an angle i can do this right now <laughs> um but now it is just about time to work out i kind of want to stretch a little bit before because i didn't really have any time to just like relax i like to like take like at least 10 minutes before i work out to kind of just decompress from the day and then like get my mind physically ready in workout mode you know what i mean like sometimes i'm just like a little tired and just a 10 minute like little rest will help me um, kind of push through but it's just about time to work out and I wanted to show you guys my little workout outfit I'm so excited. It's a set active Outfit full purple look also got new shoes if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I shared them on my story. There are some Nike fly knits, but I'm loving them I'm wearing them for a few weeks now, and they're great um, So I'll link them below if they're available, but um, I'm gonna show you my outfit first time wearing this full outfit for a workout so we'll see how it does i've worn this bra just not the leggings so we'll see it's been a little too hot to wear leggings but it's not too bad right now so i'm trying to wear them while i can but it is really cute the material is everything and um let me just stop talking about it let me let me show you what it looks like okay do you guys die look at this color something totally different for me i don't even know what like made me buy this color but i'm glad i did because i do really really like it i don't remember what this color is called they have a ton of really cool um different color options and this was one of the new ones that they launched when i was buying mine so i just went for it and it's really cute so Love it as a full look. They have um, a ton of different bra options, but these are their classic leggings. I really wanted the one strap bra, but it was on back order, so I decided just to go with the one that was in stock, and I do really like this. It's just like a classic square neck bra. The support is great. There's no padding, and it's not really necessary. It's that very, like, stretchy ribbage material. It's like butter, you know? Like I don't even know how else to describe it. It's just like so form-fitting and comfortable um, but still really supportive and I'm just really here for this so we'll see how they do in the workout I'll probably update you guys soon I'll wear them a few times and see how they do but um, today is ab day which I'm just like why I just hate doing abs like that is the death of me it's why I don't have abs because I don't like doing ab workouts I've been doing them a lot lately just because I've been trying to you know get it tight for summer but um, they're my least favorite thing to do I would prefer doing legs and butt every single day, which is why I have muscular legs and I don't have abs. So, you know, that's my strength and this 
is not my strength. But yeah, that's my little set active outfit. I will link it below for you guys if you are interested. Um, so far, really, really loving it. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. And oh, these are my new shoes. I'm going to show you this. So these are the fly knits. They're just like a cream color with almost like a little baby blue on the bottom. I didn't want to get any crazy colorways. I know a lot of workout shoes are in like bright pink and like neon orange and that's just not my style. Um, so I went with these and they're pretty neutral, can go with pretty much anything I wear and I have been loving them. So, uh, so far so good on these. I've been wearing them for a few weeks and I am very much into them. So really happy about this purchase as well as these leggings. Look at these. So this is like kind of a visual. They're so fitted. Um, but they're comfortable, you know, it's not like they're tight, um, but they just are form fitting. Like they just form to your body, like a mold. I don't know. They're great. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to comment below. Tell me what you think of this vlog. If you guys want to keep seeing the vlogs, what you're thinking of the vlogs. If you have any requests for me, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Love to have you guys here and I will have everything linked below that I mentioned and I think that's it. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.